Okay, hi, welcome back to my channel. And I'm here right now because I'm documenting my progress for taking medication. So, so I do experience social anxiety and a lot of like mental health issues. And I was able to consult with a psychiatrist. So um, this is my fifth day of being in medication. And you know what? I feel super so it's really good that I'm now able to function much better compared to how I was before so I was able to sleep better eat well and whenever I wake up before work I still have time to prepare to like relax and when I face my day during work, I don't feel that stress compared to how I was before. So, uh, working in the BPO industry, especially customer service, call center, you have to deal with a lot of people. It really doesn't affect me that much anymore compared to back then. Like I can move on without having to feel stressed um, they say you don't have to take it personal but you can't really avoid feeling stressed out especially if you're dealing with your own personal stuff outside of work it's really stressful and it takes up a lot of your mental um, energy and having to face like all these negative energy around you negative people who badmouth you even if it's not your fault and also having to deal with people who kind of um pressure you and, well it is really kind of something that you have to to be uh, able to deal with yourself also like you need to free your mind with stress like you have to have a positive space to get rid of all the stress but if you're like me who experience a lot of anxiety all this builds up and sometimes I explode I also have to deal with a lot of things outside work and those I don't really want to disclose or uh, maybe it's a story for another time however the medication is really helping me so if you are needing help if you have anxiety panic attacks it's really is best to consult your doctor who can provide you the proper medication that you can take so here I am I'm happy I'm feeling good and it's nice so another thing that I like to talk about is um, people would ask how much it would be to consult a psychiatrist or a psychologist so let me just be frank about that because not everyone would be able to afford a psychiatrist or psychologist appointment or even the medication mm. to be honest it is costly because not only that you need to have an initial consultation for you to be diagnosed and for you to be able to be prescribed with medicine if you want to talk to psychologists it does cost um, 1,000 pesos for a consultation that's just the estimate and there's also psychologists and therapy sessions I'm not really sure how much that ranges but expect it to be around 1,000 plus and also your medication uh, 
psychiatrist can prescribe you medication that are like less expensive i one of my medication is not really that expensive but one of them per tablet costs like around 56 pesos so i need to take like 20 of them so it ranges to a uh, thousand pesos per month so if you're invested in healing yourself these amount does not really matter especially if you are working if you are like earning a lot more than the consultation fee and the medical fee so it's always best that you are able to invest in your mental health so that's it for me today thank you goodbye